discuss accidents, safety, and first aid. And not only how to prevent them, but what to do in case you have one. How does that sound? Boring! <laughs> now, Jamie, you wouldn't think it was boring if somebody you knew was choking and you were able to save their life with a Heimlich maneuver. What kind of maneuver, Mrs. Lawson? Heimlich. Gesundheit. <laughs> well, I guess I walked right into that one. Now, who can tell me what this is called? It's called kissing. <laughs> no, it's called CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It brings people back to life. Kissing can do that, too. <laughs> Quiet down. Later on in the week, we'll be learning some mouth-to-mouth -mouth techniques. I'd like to practice my mouth-to-mouth -mouth with Jessica Ryan. <laughs> what did you say, Jamie? Oh, uh, nothing. He said he'd like to practice mouth to mouth with Jessica Ryan. <laughs> cool like class, and I mean it. Now, since most accidents occur in the home, we're going to learn some basic home safety techniques. Oh, and I also thought it would be fun to put on a play to demonstrate how to prevent accidents. Now, who would like to volunteer to write our little play? <laughs> oh, I see we have two volunteers. And I'm sure the play will be both informative and funny, since it's going to be written by our two favorite class comedians, Jamie and Reggie. Say what? <laughs> Mom, we're really not that funny. We know, but write it anyway. <laughs> duster tied to your back. I'm doing multitasking. I'm programmed to do four different things at once. This is two of them, vacuuming and dusting. <laughs> Very clever. What are the other two things? I can tap, dance, and sing while vacuuming and dusting. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, I want to be in that number, when the saints go marching in. Oh, very good, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> it's so nice to come home to a standing ovation. <laughs> Vicky was just demonstrating her multitasking capabilities. Really? Well, let me demonstrate one of mine. Watch closely, Vicky. This is really interesting. Oh. <clears throat> That's called CPR. He's bringing you back to life. <laughs> So that's why I'm breathing harder, huh? The, yeah. <laughs> I'm teaching Jamie's class about life-saving techniques, like CPR and the Heimlich. Gesundheit. Well, I know how to do the Heimlich maneuver. First, you place your arms around the victim's waist like this. That's right. Then you place your right fist halfway between the navel and the sternum like this. Very good. And then you take your left hand, cover your right fist like this, and you give three quick thrusts like this. Mm -mm -mm. And I don't know about you, but I certainly feel better. <laughs> Raw meat again for lunch, tiger. <laughs> What's that bell for, Vicky? 
It's time to shut the raw meat in the oven, tiger. <laughs> oh, in the sinks, go marching in. Oh, in the sinks, go. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. You go get ready for dinner. <laughs> Hi, Harriet. Hi. Sweet Cheeks Jamie around? Sweet Cheeks is doing his homework before dinner. Mmm. Something smells delicious. What are you making? Mm, roast beef. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Well, I guess I'd better go home and thaw out my terrible, tasteless dinner. <laughs> thaw out? It's Mom's bowling night. And my dad can't even boil water without burning it. So it's another crummy frozen TV dinner for me. Mm. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't even bother heating it up. Just pull it out of the freezer and lick it. <laughs> I'll probably grow up undernourished and all wrinkled like a freckled prune. Harriet, uh, wait. Uh, why don't you stay and have dinner with us? Really? Oh, I'd love to, but I'd have to tell my father. Will you do that, honey? Daddy! Dinner? <laughs> We'd love to. Oh, that was delicious, Johnny. Thank you, Brandon. I haven't had a dinner that good since, uh... Oh, I can't remember when. I can, since the last time you invited yourself here. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast. Here's to Jamie, the apple of my eye. Now you have to toast me, Jamie. Okay. Here's to Harriet, the worm in the apple. Jamie. The cute worm in the apple? <laughs> That's better. That was beautiful. Well, I'd like to propose a toast, too. To my dearest friends in the whole world. Oh, Brandon. Too bad they're not here tonight. <laughs> Down the hatch. <coughs> you all right, Brandon? Emergency choking. <coughs> Arms around the waist. No, Vicky. Fists like this. Now what is she doing? The Heimlich. Three quick thrusts. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> She broke my back. I don't know about you, but I certainly feel better. Hey, Jane, Jane, will you stop walking in circles? You're making me dizzy. All riders pace when they think. Gets the blood flowing to the brain. Well, we better get more ink flowing to the paper. Or there won't be any play for class. Okay. What have we got so far? Okay. Safety First, written by Reggie Williams and Jamie Lawson. Wait, wait, wait. Why isn't it Jamie Lawson and Reggie Williams? Because I've got the pencil. <laughs> Daddy, isn't pretending you're hurt a little sneaky? <laughs> of course it is. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> Don't you have any idea how hard it is to get money out of an insurance company? No. <laughs> And you better not say anything to give me away, loose lips. Oh, I won't, because you're my father, and I should do what I'm told. That's my little girl. <laughs> and I also love having something to blackmail you with. <laughs> Darn, just when we were on a roll. Hi, what happened to your neck, Miss Brindle? Get a whiplash? No, oh, a Vicky lash. This is what you did to me last night with that, uh, what do you call it? Heimlich. Gesundheit. Uh, oh, oh, it is very painful. It even hurts when I brush my teeth. Right, Harriet? Right, Daddy. Mm. <laughs> then don't brush your teeth. Just put them in a glass of water. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't mean real funny. So where are your parents, Jamie? In the kitchen. Uh, oh, it even hurts to walk. But big boys don't cry. Poor baby. Well, 
What are you guys doing? And can I do it with you? We're writing a play for school, and no. A play? What's it about? Accidents in the home. Can I be in it? I've had experience. Yeah. You look like you've been in an accident. <laughs> I'll ignore that. I once played the part of Juliet. I had the audience holding their breath. And don't say that's better than holding their nose. <laughs> well, you can't be in our play, Harriet. Because we're in junior high and you're still in grade school. You're making a big mistake. When I grow up, I'm going to be a movie star. <laughs> that's possible. They'll still be making monster movies. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you, Joe. Thank you, Teddy. You are such... Dear, considerate friends. Uh, Vicky, uh, get Brandon some nice, fresh coffee, please. Nice, fresh coffee. No, keep her away from me. She'll kill me. Forget the coffee, Vicky. Forget the coffee. <laughs> Brandon, we're sorry this happened, but it was just an accident. Vicky thought she was saving your life. Of course she did. Oh, how was she to know what she was really doing was giving me a slip disc, a pinched nerve, and three cracked ribs? <laughs> Gee, is that what your doctor said? No, that's what my lawyer said. <laughs> I don't want you to think that this incredible pain and torment is causing me any trouble, whatever. It doesn't? No. What a guy. What a trooper. Gently, gently. No. All I do is think of all that money, and I feel like a million dollars. Oh, what money? The money I'm going to get from suing you. What a guy. What a trooper. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You can't be serious about suing us. Vicky just thought you were choking and was trying to save your life by using the Heimlich maneuver. The Heimlich maneuver? But you're on She the wants best. to finish me off! Stop! <laughs> Stop, Vicky. Oh, thank heavens. Oh, Teddy, 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 Teddy. I am not a heartless man. It's just that there is no room for sentiment in matters of money. And here we are talking about a lot of money. Mucho dinero. <laughs> Piles of pesos. <laughs> Besides, it's not as if I'm suing you personally. I'm suing your insurance company. You are insured, aren't you? Well, of course I am, Brandon. Yeah. But, but if they have to pay off a big claim like this, they're going to raise my rates. They might even cancel my policy. Don't you hate it when they do that? <laughs> well, dear friends, I'll see, I'll see you in court. Shh. I knew it. I knew it. He's not hurt at all. He's faking. How do you know that? Because no man with a pinched nerve, a slip disc, and three cracked ribs can do this. <laughs> well, at least think it over about me being in your play. I'm a good actress. Watch. This is Lauren Bacall, and you have and have not. <laughs> If you want me, just whistle. <laughs> you know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll do an imitation for you, Harriet. And listen closely. <laughs> you know how to get lost, don't you? <laughs> You just open the door and blow. <laughs> All right, when we finish writing this, we have to figure out who gets to play what parts to I'll play. Well, Vicky can play the wife. And I'll play the husband. Okay, I'll be the narrator. Now, that just leaves the part of Baby Shirley. Who can we get to play her? I don't know, but it's not going to be easy. All the accidents happen to baby Shirley. She really takes a beating. Yeah. Who do we know that's dumb enough to take a part like that? <laughs> Harriet! <laughs> oh, Harriet! Have we got a part for you? <laughs> now, class, it's time for our play demonstrating common accidents in the home. Written and directed by Reggie Williams and Jamie Lawson. 
<clears throat> also known as Jamie Lawson and Reggie Williams, <laughs> featuring Vicki Lawson as Mrs. Klutz, and by special arrangement with her school, a guest appearance by Harriet Brindle as Baby Shirley. Hmm? Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, students. Before you, we have a typical American family we'll call the Klutz family. As our play opens, Mr. Klutz, like all typical American husbands, is watching a football game on TV. And Mrs. Klutz, like all typical American wives, is on the phone. Oh, you'll love my plumber. He's wonderful. Hold on, I'll get his number for you. A typical American husband. Um, yes, typical American wife. <clears throat> What's the phone number of our typical American plumber? I don't know. You can look it up in a typical American phone book. <clears throat> Good typical American thinking. <laughs> Cord. Someone could trip over it and get hurt. And look, here comes baby Shirley. <laughs> Mommy, my milk's cold. <laughs> like I said, somebody could get hurt. And look, Mrs. Clutch left that drawer open. That could be dangerous. <laughs> in the cupboard. Uh-oh. This typical American family is about to have another typical American accident in the typical American kitchen. Part of my plan to prove that Brandon is faking his broken neck. But we already know that. But we know he's faking, and he knows he's faking, but he doesn't know we know. I know. So the trick is to get him to do something that proves he's faking, and then he'll know we know. And then we'll know he knows. Then what? Who knows? <laughs> That's Brandon. I invited him over to discuss the lawsuit. Oh. Oh, hi, Brandon. Hi, How are you feeling? Oh, it even hurts when I talk. I get a terrible pain in the neck. It has the same effect on us. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Teddy, what did you want to talk about uh, about the suit? Oh, yeah, Brandon. Uh, I I've been giving this a lot of thought, and I thought that... Wait, oh, oh, gee, Brandon. Geez, it almost hit your toe there. Uh, would you uh, pick up the hammer for me, Brandon? Gee, I'm awful sorry, Teddy, but uh, I can't bend over. Lawyer's orders. Uh, doctor's... Doctor's orders. <laughs> yeah, uh, Joan, would you uh, hand me the uh, hammer, please? Sure. So, uh, <clears throat> about the suit? Oh, yeah, Brandon. Well, like I said, considering everything that, that we've talked about... Whoa, well, whoa, well, Brandon, see the picture! <laughs> oh, my beautiful picture! Brandon, why didn't you uh, save the picture? Hey, Teddy, you know I can't move. Besides, I gotta tell you, it looked to me like a cheap print. Anyway, <clears throat> you were saying about the, uh, about the suit. Oh, yeah, Brandon. Uh, I've been giving it a lot of thought and... Whoa, whoa, save me, Brandon, save me! Oh. Lord, are you all right? Uh, no, I think I tore something. Uh, what? My shorts. <laughs> I don't want you to worry about the shirt. I'll just add a couple thou to the claim. Why are you on the ground, Dad? Clumsy fool fell off the ladder. <laughs> Wouldn't have if you'd have caught me, Brandon. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Old Brandon sees right through you. You thought I was going to make some big move to catch you like this. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I thought you couldn't ah. move, Brandon. Yeah, but I... And no, don't no, try to you, deny yes, it, Brandon. Oh, but I'm in great pain. 
Mm. Forget it, Brandon. There's no use suing us now. You're faking. No, wait a minute. Not so fast. Not so fast. Uh, I'll split the money with you. Right down the middle. 80 for me, 20 for you. Brandon, that would be cheating. 60, 40? Brandon. Just my luck. All the neighbors there are in the world, I have to get the worst kind. Honest. I'll see you, Brandon. Better luck next time. Oh, what a character. Yeah, well, uh, listen, honey, I'll... Uh... I'll hang this for you anyway. Uh, we can get new glass later, all right? Here, I better hold the ladder for you, Dad. Statistics show that a person has an accident in the home every 10 seconds. Right, Vicky? Right. That person should get out of the house more often. <laughs> Thank you.